morning, everyone. Um, today, I thought I'd do an update on the south window, which uh, resides some of the Vandas, um, the summertime Phalaenopsis, some Cattleyas, uh, some Catacetums, and some Dendrobiums, uh, also some uh, Oncidiums and uh, Epidendrums. So uh, let me switch this camera around and we'll take a look at the plants before the sun comes out and it's too strong coming through the window to just really see what's going on. Uh, I'll see you guys in just a few. Okay guys, I got the camera switched around and we're back. Um, some of my summertime fowls they're doing good. You can see this is a new leaf here. This one is a uh, LD Bears King and it's got another bud started on its flower spike. And then this one here is uh Bellina red apple and if you can see right right there there's a flower spike started on it also um we go up a little higher uh this is uh two epidendrums and then uh a catlia and there's some more cat lids in the south window. This one here, I don't know. It it produces sheets, but then they just dry up. So I guess it's not old enough or something. Something's not quite right with it. I have to figure that out still. more of the cat lives. and I'm not sure what this that's a metonia and as you can see it's getting full south wide also and look at the root production on the new growth on it I love seeing that Um, keep on going. This is, uh, Angrecum Crestwood. Uh, this one is a Walkeriana, Catlea Walkeriana. It's got a new start right there. Don't know if the camera's going to focus in on it. But you can kind of see the nubbin. Um, another Crestwood, Angrecum Crestwood. And then that is an Angrecum Leonis. If we go down a little bit further in the line, um, this is an Encyclia. And another encyclia here. Um, some catacetums that are starting to come out of dormancy. And the great big catlia that uh, was orange and red that was blooming. Can't think of the name of it. I think it's Jammy Hollingsworth or something like that. Um, then we have some more uh, Nadosas, uh, uh, Kathy Lee in the back, or something like that. I can't remember the name. And this shelf is some more summertime fowls. As you can see, I'm getting a new leaf on that one. This is one of them that had cold damage when it came in. I'm still waiting on this one to produce uh, signs of new growth 
for me. And then if we go down a little bit more, we have a uh, antelope dendrobium, and then the Latoria dendrobiums are down here. This one here, this one here, um, this one here, it's got some pretty little flowers on it. Uh, speckles on the back, back side of it. Let's take a look at the newer flowers. They kind of are a creamy green yellow color with a, a bright purple lip. And some nice spotting on the back of it too. And uh, let's go up now. And we'll take a look at the Vandas. This one here is putting out a root system like you wouldn't believe. This root here has decided it wants to divide into two. And uh, all kinds of root production on it. Uh, it's starting to branch from its roots. If you guys can see this. Um, the next one here, its roots are branching also and tons of new root growth. I mean, just tons. Uh, the next one would be this one. Uh, it was a little questionable when I got it, but it's doing good. It's got all kinds of new root tips also. I don't know. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty pleased with it now. At first, I didn't know for sure. And then these are the ones that, uh, if you watch my other video, that were potted, that I unpotted. And as you can see, the root production, after I got them out of that media and just have them hang a bare root, I get, I get a lot better root production on them. Um, then here's the other one starting to branch out on its root system. It's looking great. New roots coming in all over. Um, let's go up a little bit higher. I'll pull this one out. This is my little ceiling that I've been taking care of. And as you can see, it's gotten quite a bit bigger. Uh, a lot more roots on it now than what it did have. So here before long, I'll be putting this in a wire instead of uh, keeping it in this little terrarium thing. Then there's these littler ones that I got as seedlings that have grown quite a bit and the root production on them, I mean, you can just tell that it's a jumbled up mess up here. There's three of them. There's one there, this one here, and then this one back here. And next is this little one here with great root system. This one was also a little seedling, and as you can see, the roots are doing great on it. The plant's doing great. And uh, this is next one. The roots are starting to produce on it now. Um, there's some on the back too. More root, new roots coming in. 
means I can remove some of this older, drier stuff now that I've gotten some, some root production. Plenty of roots to sustain that. And the last band that we're going to look at is right here. And it's one of my newer acquisitions. But uh, it's doing okay. It, it's going to put out some roots. I know it will. I'm not worried about that. Um, it's just kind of a waiting game for it to throw its root system out. Usually, I get uh, a new root system when I get Vandas. So, it's just like a waiting game. And it, it has a cakey on it down there. But, uh, I guess that's... That's about it. There's a kind of overall glance at to uh, at it, and like I say, this is the south window in the living room, and uh, I guess that's my update. And I will see you guys again. I appreciate each and every one of you. I really do. It means a lot to me. And uh, we'll catch you again. Thanks, everyone.